Today we are in Guanajuato. It's an amazing, beautiful city. Uh, actually, I didn't know it exists before coming here to Mexico, but it's one of the most beautiful cities we've seen so far. And it's all up and down. That's why we will start the city, uh, exploring the city from the up. So let's go and see the panorama. The easiest way to get there is by funicular. You come to the top and you remain speechless because of the beauty of the landscape. We decided to go to the bar with the panorama. Let's see what's there. So this is the University of Guanajuato, very famous. The main church. A garden square and Teatro Juarez. And this is Michelada. You can easily find this drink in Mexico. It, the base is beer and then you can find it with lemon juice, with tomato juice and spices or with clamato. Clamato contains also clams. On the top of the mountain there is a monument to El Pipela, a national hero who helped to win the first victory of the independence movement in Mexico in, in 1810. On your way, you will meet many beautiful corners and also some street art. This one, for example, tells about the history of Guanajuato, starting from the indigenous culture and then uh, Spanish domination. The city became very rich thanks to its gold and silver deposits, but local people were poor. And then bring to the independence movement and at the end of the street art you see El Pipila, the hero we met before. And here is the University of Guanajuato. It's one of the most important in Mexico and has about 20,000 students. And if one viewpoint wasn't enough for you, there is a second one. Here we are in the central square in front of the Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato. Very close to the Basilica, there is the famous and beautiful Teatro Juarez. Unfortunately, the days when we were in the city, it was closed for works, so we only seen it from outside. And here on the top of the hill, you can notice the funicular. Guanajuato is a colonial style city. It has uh, many, many beautiful squares and colorful buildings and also small gardens. So walking here, it's just a pleasure. You can also go without the map, without any reason, and you will find many beautiful spots like this local market, for example. If you like art, you cannot miss 
the museum and house of Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was born here in Guanajuato and lived with his family until he was six years old. Then they moved to Mexico City. In this house, you can see some of his early paintings when he was studying art and also paintings from different periods like uh, cubism and etc. It's quite interesting and uh, has quite many uh, works. Guanajuato is a UNESCO city and it has many interesting corners to see. But the beauties and the uniqueness of it, it's not only on the street level, but also underground. Let's go down and see what's there. Fortunately, we have a friend here, Daniel, who showed us around. So right underground, under the city, there is a big system of tunnels, it's about five kilometers, and most of the, of the traffic runs there, underground, so there are few cars on the top level of the city. And I think it's pretty unique, I've never seen anything like that in an old city. In the evening time in Guanajuato you can meet Calle Joneados, they are musicians who also tell stories about the streets. And then we came to the alley of the keys. There is a big line of people who are waiting to kiss and to make a photo under these two balconies. So the story says that there was a couple, a rich girl and a poor miner who loved each other and secretly kissed right here. At the end of the day, we came again to the panoramic viewpoint to see Guanajuato in the nighttime. And it's just as beautiful as during the day. Thank you for watching this video. Follow my channel for other stories about Mexico.